hi guys welcome back to my channel um so today's video is going to be an unboxing or a reveal i mean it's not really an unboxing because i've already unboxed the box obviously i'll unbox the bag um i already i've already seen the bag i've already used it have i used it i mean i've taken it with me on like one errand or something so i guess yeah you can't say that i have used the bag um i don't know if i'm gonna call this a reveal or an unboxing i don't know but anyway i got the bag pre-loved so i kind of had to take a look at it sooner rather than later so it's not a true unboxing in that sense but anyway before i get into the video hello my name is maddie um i guess you can call me a luxury youtuber i mean i don't know i put out mostly luxury content so if you do enjoy if you enjoy if you do enjoy watching um luxury things like unboxings or reveals um comparisons and what's in my bags and those types of videos then this is the right channel for you i would appreciate it if you join my little youtube family by hitting the subscribe button down below and if you're not new shout out to you you're a real one um okay so now we can get into the video can you guys does any does anything look different in the background to you can you can you tell what bag it is those of you who've been watching me what what is this those of you who've been watching me for a while do you do you see anything different in the background so the bag that i'm going to be showing i'm just going to call it showing the bag that i'm going to be showing you guys today the latest handbag in my collection is this beauty right here which is the balenciaga city mini I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So it's the Balenciaga City Mini and it's in gray. I think the official name of the color is Gris or Gris. I'm not French. G R I S. I'll put that on the screen. I got this bag off of Fashion File and um, so I have the tag right here. It came with, so I think it came with a dust bag. Um, it's not a true unboxing, but this is a box that it came in. It says Fashion File right here. Um, it did come with a strap as well. But as most of you know, I'm more of a top handle carry kind of girl, so I don't really see myself using the strap. Um, but who knows? Um, you have the fashion file file. Um, I have a fashion file dust bag right here. And then I have the Balenciaga dust bag. So it did come with the Balenciaga, the Balenciaga dust bag, but it didn't come with the Balenciaga box. And I got like all the authenticity stuff for whatever for Balenciaga whatever it's called I don't really know that much about Balenciaga um yeah and I'm guessing this is the receipt this is my second unbox this is my second fashion file unboxing so I'm not really like them yeah so this is the receipt and um so on fashion file it's called the Balenciaga calf skin classic gold mini city ombre gray gradient that's that's a mouthful um, so I purchased this bag for $750. Obviously, Fashion File adds like tax, which was 66.56. So my total was 816.56. Um, so on the tag that came with the bag, it retails for $15.45 plus tax. I live in New York. I think it would have come up to like 16 something. So I guess you could say I saved 50%. Like I got the bag for like 50% cheaper or maybe a little more. I'm not really that great at math um, But yeah, that's the bag that I got. This is what she looks like and um, it's funny My sister likes the bag, but then my other friend shout out to Buki. Hi Buki um, She was like she doesn't like she hasn't seen it in person and she wants to see it in person But she's like it kind of looks like a granny bag, like a grandma bag and um, I mean I get it But I still think it's cute like the size is so small and cute um I will say like I was kind of hesitant hesitant to keep the bag just because I feel like it has a lot going on like all the tassels on the on the zipper on both sides not just one and then this little mirror thing so pretty much all the zippers have like a I guess this is called a tassel and it's a little irritating I'm not even gonna lie but I, I still think the bag is really cute um I'm trying to figure ugh. I tried to take it off but like you can't really take it off because all you're gonna have is literally the pull tab and that would be a little inconvenient um I don't know like just I kind of wish the bags I mean if it was just one that's fine but then there's two zips on the top on the, like there's two on the top I guess they meet in the middle when you close and both of them have it and then this one has it and it's not even short like you see how long this shit is like 
it's extra long and i'm like what's what's the point of that but um besides that and like this i guess the mirror is cute or whatever but like i, I don't know like i just feel like they could have done without it but besides that, I still think the bag is cute and um, I got it in this gray color. So funny story, um, this bag is actually on my wish list or was on my wish list, I guess. Is it is or was because I already got it. But if you watch my 2020 wish list video, this bag is on it. And um, funny story, I don't think I've ever said this on my YouTube before. I did order this bag from Fashion File, I want to say in January. But my dumbass, I was not really paying attention to, <laughs> I didn't really read the description properly. Um... I, I, I don't know what happened. I guess I just saw the color and I was like, oh, it's so pretty. And it was gold hardware and all that stuff. And I fell in love with it. So I hit, like I bought it so fast. It came to my house and I'm like, it was half this size. And I'm like, wait, is this how small the bag is? Like when I was opening, when I was opening the box and I saw the dust bag, I'm like, they must have folded the bag because that's not how small I thought it was going to be. So I got, uh, what is it? The Nano. I think it's called the Nano. But pretty much like it's a smaller size than this and i'm like you can't even put nothing in there and that was 920 dollars, even way more expensive than this which i mean i'm i don't get i, I, I don't know i don't get it but yes yeah, I, I sent that one back and um i just kept waiting um to see what color combination that i would like and um i kind of like this one i mean i don't have a gray bag um it doesn't i mean it doesn't really look black it's coming it's coming um off true to color on camera as well and um it's gold hardware i believe fashion file had this listed as excellent it was listed as excellent on fashion file i'll put like a i'll do like a screenshot or whatever and put it up on the screen so you guys can see and for the exterior it just said corner wear and then hardware it says tarnished and then faint scratches um i mean i don't really see any corner wear on the back i do see like a little can you guys see that? I'm not sure if it's going to pick it up. Let me hide my face. Yeah. So there's a little thing right there. Um, honestly, that's that's it. And then it says the hardware was tarnished. Um, I mean, I don't really see that. I mean, there's like scratches and stuff on, on like the zipper thing. The zipper pull, the zipper tab, whatever the hell it's called. Um, but I honestly i don't see anything um that's like alarming or that would make me not want to keep the bag um so yeah the same day i got the bag i looked at it and then i took off the tag and um i did hesitate a little bit like i said before just because of the tassels but i think i can i can deal with that or i can live with it um this is what the inside looks like it does have um it's pretty open right here and then it just has like this one zip compartment right here and um it does say balenciaga paris right here um yeah and that's pretty much it like i love this size you guys this bag is small but mighty just like me um <laughs> lame um yeah it's small but like you can fit a ton in here i'll do like a little what's in my bag portion right after this and then show you guys um oh it does have like this little zipper place in the front as well i didn't even notice that before and this was in there i'm not sure what that is um but yeah that was in there i just i don't know it's just something about this bag that it's i i just i don't know i guess people don't really talk about it but i really like it and it has like this woven details on on the strap not on the handle um i don't know i just like how it looks i think it's really cute and um yeah this is the latest handbag in my collection um i know i did mention before that i probably wasn't gonna buy a bag but i just felt like this was not that expensive this is my third bag this year and i forgot who i was talking to i feel like i've been good this year like i've only bought three bags in 2020 in prior years i bought shoes i bought slgs and i bought bags i haven't purchase any slgs or any shoes this year i do want one shoe i do want two shoes let me not even lie but i'm just like i don't know i don't know I, I guess i'm just more focused on bags this year even though i said i was gonna if you watch my 2020 wishlist video i think i said i was gonna focus more like accessories and shoes but for some reason i'm more focused on bags this year um when it comes to slgs i just feel like that's a good way to waste money in the sense that you really don't need that many if you're just starting out your collection i mean if you have the money if you've like purchased pretty much everything that you want to purchase then you can go for slgs but i just feel like after a while once you have the essentials like you know like the key holder card holder um a wallet what else maybe like a cosmetic pouch or like a toiletry pouch or something like that then you're good like there's really no need to like purchase 
a lot of SLGs, I really do feel like that's a great way to waste money and waste time when building your luxury collection. Like, just focus on the bags that you want. I feel like I'm digressing. Anyway, um, yeah, I just went off on tangent and I literally just, like, switched topics or whatever. But I'll show you guys um, what, what fits inside this bag. It does fit quite a lot. I, I guess you can say I'm currently using it, even though I got this bag, like, a week ago. And I've taken it out maybe, like, once or twice. And when I say taking it out, I mean, like... Maybe I was going to drop something off for my dad and I had it in the car with me or if I was going to the grocery store. I literally just put it in the car and then I take out my key holder and then I go into wherever I need to go. So I'm carrying it, but not really. Um, so I have my Louis Vuitton clay and that goes inside. I have my Louis Vuitton six, uh, six key holder. I have my Louis Vuitton round coin first and that goes inside as well. Um, surprise, surprise, I started using my Gucci card holder after I filmed my SLG collection or when I did the comparison because I started to feel guilty that I was neglecting it. So I decided to bring her back out and that's what I'm using. I have this tube of St. Ives um, lotion because we need lotion. Um, hand sanitizer, always a must. Uh, what else? I have my um, Louis Vuitton dust bag with, uh, what is it called, my earphones inside. Just for the sake of it, this is my phone. I have the, the 10 XS Max, so the biggest 10 um, that goes inside. And you guys, it is, I mean, it, it does have a little weight to it, but there's still a lot of space to fit a lot more things inside. Um, let's see if I have like this little Kleenex um, wet wipes thing. Pretty sure that can go in as well. It did so that's in there and like I said it is getting heavier but it does fit inside uh, what else I have this little vanilla thing it's like an essential oil you can just drop that in there um, just for the fun of it here's my Victorine wallet it also fit inside all right like I feel like let me see if I can zip it up I can so you guys see what I'm saying like she's small but you can definitely fit a lot of things inside. It is getting heavy, and obviously I would have put this many things inside just because ain't nobody got time to be carrying a heavy-ass bag. Except my sister. she, Her bags are always heavy. I I, I, just, I don't know. But anyway, it's small, but it definitely fits a lot. Um, I'm going to take out the wipes because I don't really carry that with me unless I have a bigger bag. I'm going to take out my Victorine wallet as well. Um, I mean, my phone can stay inside the bag. It's very refreshing, actually. To have a bag that I can actually put my phone inside and everything else and not have to carry it on my hand. So it's not just that it fits my phone. It fits my phone as well as a lot of other things. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of my bags, like my phone fits in all my bags. But if I'm trying to maximize space, I would hold it in my hand. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much how, how I would carry it. I just have my round coin purse, my keys, my card holder, lotion, hand sanitizer, some sort of perfume, my earphones, and my phone. And this is pretty much how I would carry it. I have these Tomford sunglasses and I'm pretty sure like if I had a soft case, I would be able to put them. I mean, I wouldn't really risk putting, putting it in the bag alone just like that, but it fits inside if you're willing to take a risk like that. If you had a soft case or maybe like wrap it in the dust thing if you do that then it definitely fits inside but a lot of things fit inside this bag which is great um we're all for we're all for like a tiny bag that fits a lot of things inside so yeah that pretty much does it for today's video i just kind of wanted to show you guys my bag reveal it to you unbox it whatever you want to call it um i don't even know what i'm gonna title it but yeah that does it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy this video um just to recap i got this back from fashion file i got it pre-loved so now i have one two three four pre-loved bags in my collection i have a total of 10 bags right now and um yeah that pretty much does it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up um, leave comments in the comment section down below and um subscribe if you're not already subscribed while you're at it turn on the notification bell just so you get notified every time i put up a new video and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you in the next one bye